Writing your first research paper can be daunting. I mean, I remember when I firstly started writing mine, I was just so stressed. I was bordered on how to start, where to start, what to start with. And just like me, you may have had a few boring lectures and maybe even watched a few videos on YouTube just to come up with your first few chapters. But even after doing all of that, something just doesn't click. And to be honest, no one is going to sit you down to teach you on how to write a good research. Not even your supervisor. It's the hard truth, you have to live with it. But that's why you have me, to give you all you need to come up with your first few chapters. And I believe that by the end of this video, you'll be able to come out with three chapters of your own research. Now for my academic writings, I love to use a tool called Jenny AI. And with Jenny, yes, I call her Jenny like she's my best friend because she actually does the job of a best friend solving my problems. Jenny AI is literally an all-in-one platform and it hands down beats the traditional method of academic writing. Ask me how. How? Thank you. Your traditional method of academic writing usually requires you to have like a million tabs open, an extra reference manager like Zotero or Mendeley, a grammatical error corrector like Grammarly, and you will also need a thousand or hundreds of research papers downloaded just for reference purposes. But with Jenny, everything becomes so easy and so accessible. And like I said, all in one platform. So if you're ready, let's get into our workspace. We're going to write your research together now. Every good research paper starts off with a solid idea, but not just any idea. Your idea has to be clear, actionable, and well-structured. So let me show you how I refined my own messy idea using Jenny AI. So I'm going to go up into our workspace now. You're going to type jenny.ai into your Google or whatever search engine that you use. Then we're going to go into new to create a new document, right? Start writing a new document. There are different tabs, but what we're going to do today is to write a document. So we're going to click on write a document. So this tab is going to pop up to show you to ask your research questions, right? So you can ask Jenny or type in your rough ideas into Jenny. So what I want to explore today is mental health illnesses and use of hard drugs, like the relationship between the two of them amongst Nigerian students. So I'm just going to type that into Jenny and it's going to, you know, let's see how it goes. Mental health illnesses and mental illnesses and drug abuse, abuse amongst Nigerian students. Okay, so you can see that it's telling me that this is an average prompt, but you can add more words to make it a very good prompt. Let me add something like amongst Nigerian students who live in the slum. Okay, that's that's a great prompt, you know. Jenny can work with this. That doesn't mean that if you don't have a great prompt, you can't work with this. You can work with any prompts that you have, but just to show you that your prompting actually determines how much you can get from Jenny. Okay, so I'm going to be using the outline future, which involves the IMRAD technique. If you're very conversant with research, this is one of the techniques and one of the best techniques to write in your research. And the IMRAD just simply means introduction, methods, results, and discussion. So IMRAD, basic. Basically, I click on standard editing. Standard editing is the IMRAD type of editing. So this is my standard editing. I click on start writing. So just like that, as you can see, it gives me all my headings immediately. It gives me the introduction, the literature review, the methods, the results, the discussion, and the conclusion. Very, very sweet, very demure. So one helpful tip I have for you when crafting your title is to follow a simple formula, which is the independent variable, the dependent variable, the study population, and the study location. That is exactly how you want your title to be. That's the basic way to do it, and that's the standard way to do it. I don't know of any other way. So in this case, my own independent variable is drug abuse. So that is what I'm using to explain my dependent variable. Independent variable is also known as the explanatory variable. So it's what explains your outcome. In my own case, the outcome that I'm looking out to, <laughs> the outcome I'm looking out to, in my own case, the outcome I'm looking forward to is the incidence of mental illnesses. It's going to be drug abuse and mental illnesses. I'm going to reframe what I wrote here. Who is my study population? Nigerian students. Where are they staying? In the slum. Basic. Crisp. Done in seconds. So I can easily do that with Jenny AI. Let me show you guys now. I'm just going to drag this. Exit. Then come and drop it here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. My title now is Drug Abuse and Mental Health Illnesses Amongst Nigerian Students in Slums. Very good. And now for the part that used to stress me out the most, the literature review. I literally hate, I abhor, I detest this part because 
you literally have to be scouring the whole of the internet just to find out pdfs just to find out research papers that correlate to your own idea before i knew about jenny what i used to do before is to go into google scholars go into mendeley go into pubmed go into springer and start to scour the internet for hours looking for papers <laughs> it was a lot of stress but now with jenny i can literally just go into my ai chat and ask it to look for research papers that correlate to my own idea easy right let me show you how we're just going to go into the ai chat function right it's just at the left side on my screen as you can see so what i like to do specifically just because i want to have a myriad of research papers most importantly your research idea is unique and you don't want it to be something that's been overflogged, right? So because of that, I like to break down my topics into different quarters, right? So I can firstly search drug abuse amongst Nigerian students. So I'm just going to send it and Jenny will start to think. Okay, she's thinking. So we're going to wait for her to think. Here are a few research papers that she came up with. Here is one by Wada, Khalid, Shitu and Ibrahim which is very cool because this is very tailored to Nigeria and he went ahead to look for Nigerian research papers, which makes a lot of sense because my study is based on Nigerian students. And very importantly, the papers you want to find out are the ones that are recently done, not the ones that were done in 1992. Except you're doing a study on a historical facts and things like that, then a study that is done in 1990 will be useful. But if you are doing something that has to do with something that is current, like COVID, you can't go back as far as 2012. COVID was not a thing then. If you get what I mean. Then I'm going to go to search again for another part, which is mental health illnesses amongst Nigerian students. We're going to send it and make Jenny think. Exactly. Brought out other research papers for me. See how this is so cool because you are giving yourself more opportunities to find more papers that you can work with. So I think we're done on that. And so we're just going to go into library to see everything that we have saved. So this is the library, this is my library, and this is everything that has to do, this is everything that I've saved as regards my research idea. Just like that, you have your library and a place for you to go. Instead of scouring the internet 10 times and having a million tabs open, you have a library of papers that you can go to, look at sites. And the funny thing about this is that Jenny itself is indexing these papers in the sense that the AI itself is reading the papers and finding out the relevant portions for you. Very cool. So now let's talk about actually writing your paper, which is why you're here, I understand. So I'm going to break this into three parts. Firstly, we're going to talk about our introduction, the objectives, and then our methodology. So think of an introduction like setting the stage. I love to begin with some background information, then I narrow down gradually to the specific information I'm talking about. Think of it like a funnel. You're starting globally, you're going regionally, and you're coming down locally to the area or to the population or location that you're talking about. So here's how I use Jenny for my introduction. As you can see, immediately I clicked under the introduction, it brought out a sentence from a previous research paper I already had in my library, which is one of the interesting facts I found about Jenny. It makes life so easy for you. And if I just click accept, it's going to see you see that it's going to put it right there and it makes my life so easy so i can work on this and start to twitch things and start to add things like i said funnel approach okay i can just say um the occurrence of mental health illnesses is large <laughs> across the world to be honest you don't need to be perfect everything is going to be corrected anyway so Write whatever it is you want to write. But when you have a platform like Jenny, your writing is so easy and you do not have to be stressed. Okay, so I have a mini introduction here that I can start to work with. Perfecto. So next thing after introduction is your justification. Your justification is just you saying, why is this study necessary? That is literally what your justification is. It doesn't have to be so large. It is the basic question of why is my study necessary? Why am I doing this study? So for my justification, I'm just going to be putting this research is necessary. This is not, this, is, this doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always switch it later. So the function you saw me using earlier on where I was just accepting, accepting, is the Jenny's autocomplete function. So in that function, what it does is that it works based on the sentence you already typed. And even if you've not typed anything, it can give you ideas on how to start and when to start. And if you don't like it, men, you can tell it to try again, to give you another idea 
just like that you have myriads of ideas popping up and popping up and if you do not like the way jenny constructed a sentence or you feel like it sounds so machinery because you know the way some ai functions sound you can always click on it and reframe what she's saying so we're going to go into the ai edit and then we can go through any function let's say you want to improve the fluency you feel like the flow is a bit weak let's say you want to paraphrase you want to simplify or you want to strengthen your argument which is what i want to do so i'm just going to click strengthen argument and it's going to think about something better than what you wrote before and add it to it this is mind-blowing guys very very mind-blowing okay so that is literally how to come up with your paragraphs with journey so now we're going to go into the part where many students get stuck which is writing your research objectives. You need to understand that writing your research objectives is broken down into two parts, your general objectives and your specific objectives. So your general objective is just you rephrasing your topic and rephrasing it into a sort of aim or objective. So for my own research, my general objective would be to assess the relationship between drug abuse and mental health illnesses amongst Nigerian students in slums. Basic, like that's literally you turning your title into an objective, one line sentence. Life doesn't have to be hard. Then your specific objectives. You can see immediately Jenny told me that I need to write my specific objectives. She's very smart. The first one she got for me was to determine the prevalence of drug abuse amongst Nigerian students in slums. The next one she got for me, <laughs> to identify the common types of drugs abused by Nigerian students in slums. I wouldn't have thought of that, to be honest. And look at this babe just giving me things. And I told you, if you do not like what she's telling you, you can always click and edit it to whatever voice you want it to be. So for your objectives, you don't want to overwhelm yourself. So I love to keep mine to maximum of four or five. Five at most. I do not love to stress myself. So just again, she's giving me another type another example of objective to give i'm just going to accept it because who am i <laughs> so accept and i'm done with my objectives easy peasy lemon squeezy so next up is your methodology so your methodology has to do with things like your study design your sampling techniques your study population inclusion and exclusion criteria just basic things so we're going to go into jenny ai once again just to get our methodology out. So here under my methodology, she's already given me an example of methods that I can use, a study design that I can use. Something about Jenny is that if you can wait, if you can be patient, she's going to, you're going to rip the fattest bone. Easy as that. So she gave me an example of a study design that I can use. So we're just going to employ that. So accept. Okay, she said, this study will employ a cross-sectional research design to investigate the correlation between. Can you see that English? I wouldn't have come up with that English. That is too smart. So aside to study design, you're also going to have things like a sampling technique. If it's going to be a multi-stage, you can work on the rest of the methodology. Just keep following the suggestions given by Jenny. And you can also fine tune, like I said, by editing it to see which one best works for your tone and for the main objective of your research. So one very important and also one very stressful thing when you're writing your paper is citing whilst you are editing your in-text citations and your end of the paper reference list. That thing can be so stressful. But with Jenny, Jenny automatically does this for you. I mean, as you're writing, it is citing whatever it is, whatever reference you're getting it from. It is giving you a citation list at the end. Let me show you. For this, my paper, right, you can see here that it gave me this in-text citation from Otokwa in 2019. Very, very cool, very demure. But when we go down to the end, I never made this reference list. Jenny made this all by herself. Like she, she's a smart girl. Do not let her go, okay? So it also has like 2,000, over 2,600 styles of referencing. So I do not know what style you want, but Jenny has it. There's no style. Bring it from heaven, from hell, from beneath the waters. It's inside Jenny. So the one we're going to be using here is Vancouver. So I'm just going to be typing Vancouver into a search style. So we see Vancouver, right? Search Vancouver, you see Vancouver. Vancouver. So there are even, I never knew there were lots of Vancouver styles. I never knew. So I'm just going to be using the Elsevier one. Elsevier Vancouver and yeah, boom, look at that. So as you can see, it changed the entire reference styling, changed into Vancouver style. And if you go back to your in-text citations, let's go back to our in-text citations. We're going to see that she already changed it into a Vancouver style, into one, two, three. She's such a good girl. Like what can I do for Jenny for all she has done for me? I do not even know. So let's say I want to do an MLA style, right? 
MLA, see, she changed it again. So you're gonna go back to your in-text. You don't have to do this manually. You don't even need Mendeley or Zotero for this. So that is one easy way you can have your in-text citations and your reference list without having to bat an eyelid literally now here is something very important and very worthy of note i feel like every young person wants things to be easy just like how jenny ai makes things easy for you but this does not mean that you should entirely rely and not do anything as regards your research you do not want to be that person that is lying about their study population the study location their study size their study sampling technique and all of that you do not want to be that person while jenny may be an easy way out a very she's a very efficient way to do your research i 100 percent approve of her but you should not totally rely on jenny because you have to be very ethical in your approach into research okay you do not want to be called a liar it's a big thing in academic writing to be called a liar or a plagiarist or someone who is not ethical okay so you want your research to be 100 percent original you using ai doesn't mean you're not original you need to understand that two of them can coexist they are not mutually exclusive okay they can exist without one biting the other. So whilst she can help you to get your research paper done in literally minutes and save you half the time you would have done doing it yourself, you should also ensure that everything is totally your idea. I hope that is clear. So that's exactly how I went from being overwhelmed to being in control of my own research using Jenny AI. One workspace with everything that I need all the way from brainstorming to writing my reference list. And now I want to say, if you're writing your first research paper or you feel so confused and you do not know where to start, try Jenny AI. And you want to know the best part about it? It is completely free to start with. But if you love to upgrade just like me and gain access to even more cool features, you should use my code for LA20 to get 20% discount off the paid version. You see, I always bring the best deals just for you. I've left the link to check out Jenny AI in the description box below. So make sure that you do that so that you can stop struggling with your research papers. And hey, What's your research topic? You can drop it in the comments and you and I can have your back and forth on how you can best implement your research idea. Okay? And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one right here. I believe it's the best one for you to watch. See you in my next video. Bye!